Jonah chapter four. This changes this change change of plans upset Jonah, and he became very angry. So he complained to the Lord about it. Don't didn't I say before I left home that you would do this? Lord, that is why I run away to Tarisha. T-A-R-S-H-I-S-H. -S I knew that you were a generous and compassionate God, slow to get angry and filled with unfulfilling love. I know how easily you could cancel your plans and destroying these people. Just kill me now, Lord. I'd rather be dead than alive because nothing is predicted. P-E-R-D-I-C-T-E-D -E -E is going to happen. The Lord replied, it is right for you to be angry about this. Then Jonah went out to the east side of the city and made a shelter to sit under as he went, waited to see if anything would happen to the city. And the Lord God arranged for a leafy plant to grow there. <clears throat> and as and soon it spread its broad leaves over Jonah's head, shading him from the sun and sun. This eased some of his discomfort, and Jonah was very graceful for the plant. But God also prepared a warm. God also prepared a worm, 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 W-R-M. The next morning at dawn, the worm ate through the stem of the plant so that it soon died and weathered away. And as the sun grew hot, God sent a scorching east wind to blow on Jonah. The sun beat down on his head until he grew faint and washed, washed, wished, wished to die. Death is certainly bitter than this, he exclaimed. Then God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry because the plant died? This, yes, Jonah replied. Rest, Jonah, yes, Jonah restored every anger enough to die. Uh, restored? R-E-T-O-R-T-E-D. Re Retorted. Re uh, yes, Jonah retored. Retored. Every, even, even angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you feel sorry about the plant through, you feel sorry about the plant though you did nothing to put it there. And a plant is only at best short lived, but Nenvia, N-I-N-E-V-E-H has more than 120,000 people living in spiritual darkness. Not to mention all the animals. Shouldn't I feel sorry for such a great city?